Hello everyone, this is PK Entertainment and we're back again and here now we have another video for you and this will be a season review of Moon Knight. Now there may be spoilers throughout this review for the show and other Disney plus Marvel shows and movies within the MCU so just be aware we're going into this overall video. Now Moon Knight was overall the fifth live action Disney plus show based on the Marvel Cinematic Universe after WandaVision, Falcon and the Witness Soldier, Loki and Hawkeye and you can check out my reviews for all of those four shows and I'll leave some links within the description. Now Moon Knight is the adaptation of the comic book character created in 1975 where we follow the story of marine soldier Mark Spector who after being left for dead in an Egyptian tomb is revived by an Egyptian moon god known as Khonshu into the powerful being known as Moon Knight. Armed with super abilities Moon Knight sets about protecting the innocent from dark forces. In addition to his powers, Mark also starts to contract multiple personality identity disorders. He takes on identities such as a billionaire, taxi cab driver and a business consultant. Now Moon Knight the series debuted on March the 30th 2022 with Oscar Isaac in the lead role also starring Ethan Hawke. Now the series slightly deviated from the source material by starting the story with Stephen Grant as a gift shop assistant in London still suffering from some mental disorder. We see him in the earlier scenes turning up late for work, putting sand around his bed, tying himself up in ankle bracelets when he's sleeping and having dreams and flashbacks and overall he's a very nervous and erratic personality. Now all of his experiences eventually draw him to discover the power of Moon Knight when he is consumed by the suit at the end of the first episode. Now his actual identity of Mark Spector is revealed in the second episode and he ventures to Egypt to discover the secrets of his power and the two identities of Stephen and Mark constantly clash together as they communicate with the Khonshu god who guides them through their quest. Now Stephen and Mark are pursued by cult leader Arthur Harrow who was a previous avatar of the Khonshu God and has his own dark agendas to reform the world. Now in previous videos and coverage I've stated that the Marvel Disney Plus shows were at best a mixed bag. They were very inconsistent in terms of their writing and pacing. So would Moon Knight go on to break this mould and become the first truly great Disney Plus shows within the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Now sadly I have to say the answer is no and it might be the most disappointing out of all of the Disney Plus shows so far. Now on the plus side Oscar Isaac is terrific in the lead role or the lead roles rather more than skillfully able to portray all of the identities very convincingly. Now I would say the British accent that he puts on for Stephen was perhaps a bit too stereotypical but I don't think it took away from the quality of his performance. He conveys very well the erraticness of Stephen along with the more stronger stern resolve of Mark and he combines both identities very well. Now Ethan Hawke did carry certain menace and presence even though I felt his role as Arthur became marginalised towards the final episodes. So then what was wrong with Moon Knight? Why didn't it deliver despite the engaging premise and setup? Well there's two big issues for me throughout the series and the first is its tone. There was much anticipation and expectation going into the series that it would be a far more darker and brooding story with a deep insight into a mental illness. It was speculated very much so that this would be far more brutal than previous Marvel efforts. Now if anything I think it's the opposite. In terms of this show the far more typical Marvel humour and action is very existent here with only hints of the dark breediness that was perhaps promised very much in the marketing. Now any hint towards far more intense material is undercut by the normal quick quips and fantasy elements and comedic moments that we associate so much with the MCU. We have certain parts of a psychodrama and even more so parts of a far more sprawling action adventure with beats very much from the Indiana Jones and the Mummy movies and these elements just don't mesh well together. In keeping with the character itself the show very much has an identity crisis not knowing where it wants to be or the direction that it's going in. The Khonshu gods themselves come across as very hokey, the voiceover was done by actor F. Murray Abraham and the visualisation of the gods is quite good but overall their nature which should be far more imposing just comes across as very comical and it takes away the seriousness of the story wherever the Khonshu god appears on screen. Another example is I believe when we get to the fourth episode where we start tapping into the childhood memories of Stephen and Mark and we have potentially a very intense moment where we hint at parental abuse but then two minutes later we're having a conversation with a talking hippopotamus in a flying ship dressed in an Egyptian costume and it's this type of contrast that really makes you actually confused as to what the show is trying to say or what direction it's trying to put itself into. 
Now we talk about the show's pacing which is very erratic and chaotic throughout the show. Now I completely understood the first episode where we were seeing Stephen very much trying to get to grips with himself alongside the various visions and nightmare that he was under. So to have this kind of frenetic pace did make sense and it was engaging at first when we were having these zooming in, zooming out moments when we were having all of these car chase scenes and where we see Stephen taking out all of these assailants trying to hunt him down. So in the beginning it was very interesting but over the course of the show, the show really lost its balance and its poise in trying to tell out the story. We do have some very slow drawn out scenes where we're trying to focus on character but then we have multiple chase scenes and fight encounters where we have the constant musical score pounded away in the background which drowns away a lot of the dialogue and takes away the impact a lot from the scenes. There's just such an uneven and a very schizophrenic nature in terms of the storytelling and it makes it frustrating to watch throughout the show. There's also a lack of focus in terms of the story. We initially start with Arthur Harrow wanting to assume power but his focus is taken away in the second half of the show as we shift towards Mark's mental distresses. And it was around about the third and fourth episodes why I asked myself what exactly the point is of this story, why am I still watching, what is the point of the actual plot and after a while I became very disengaged and disconnected with the story. Now another issue was Moonlight himself, now in terms of the costume I think it looks great, you know Moonlight looks very fluid and cool when he's live action but the problem is Moonlight is barely in the show, up until the finale Moonlight must be in the show for a total of around 5 minutes which for a first time introduction of the character in live action or indeed any mainstream platform is extremely disappointing. Like so many of the other Marvel Disney Plus shows, this series really feels like it was a movie that has been stretched out into a show just for streaming purposes. There's just no flow or consistency throughout the storytelling as we progress through and dare I say, despite all of the frenetic action going on, I did become a bit bored and disinterested throughout the story. Even though we had a lot of action and spectacle towards the finale, as what we typically get within these shows, it wasn't enough to cover all of the various flaws that we saw within the previous five episodes. So if I had to give an overall score for the Moon Knight series, it would sadly be a 5.1 out of 10. Like I said before, we had an initially a great setup with a very good lead performance from Oscar Isaac, but in the end, I think this was a show that really didn't know where it wanted to be, it didn't really have a certain focus, the trajectory in terms of the tone and the plot was all over the place and maybe in better more experienced directors and filmmakers the execution may have been pulled off a bit better but I just think sadly it's yet another disappointing entry in the Disney Plus Marvel shows so far. I'd probably say it's better than Loki and Hawkeye and maybe perhaps WandaVision though WandaVision did finish stronger than Moon Knight but I just think there's an ongoing problem within these Disney Plus Marvel shows right now. They really need to get to grips in terms of the tone and the pacing and I think also they need to decide on which characters actually merit a series. I understand that they try to get the shows out as much as possible in order to get the watch time and the clicks and the views to build their subscription platforms but you have to have far more loftier ambitions in terms of a creative purpose here. At the end of the day you can throw out all of this content as much as you want but if it's not of a certain high quality then you're going to lose viewers and more important you're going to lose subscribers and right now none of these stories really feel essential to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I just think Marvel really has to make a far better effort in terms of their storytelling if they want this universe to continue to be extended within the streaming platform. So those are my overall thoughts and feelings on Moon Knight. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you disagree with my overall take on the show, let me know what you think and if you believe it's actually one of the best series within the Disney Plus platforms so far or if you think it's actually the worst show within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, let me know what you think in the comments below and then we can have further discussion and debate. So upcoming now we have the next show which is Miss Marvel which I believe is due for release in around June or July. So as with the previous Disney Plus shows I will continue to provide a review of the premiere episode, the finale episodes and also the season review in general. So that will be the next show coming up within the channel in terms of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and of course I will continue to provide reviews for all of the upcoming movies as well. But also let me know if there are any other great shows or comic book stories that you'd like to see me cover on the channel and I'll provide some extra commentary on that material as well. Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now, take care of yourselves, stay safe distances and I will see you very very soon.